I love my job because I love dogs. I love handling them and I just love the response. Stop licking. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my face is washed. dog groomer and have been for 40 years. <laughs> I actually intended being an art teacher and uh, left my job to become an art teacher uh, to get into the university and it took quite a long time for me to get in as my name's treasurer and they only took in the first half of the alphabet to start with. So I decided since I had such a long time to wait I would put a, an advert in the paper I do the dogs for a few weeks and I specialised in poodles to begin with. I now do all breeds. I find I'm so, so close to dogs. I just enjoy them in every way. I sometimes wonder why I didn't hear dogs again, but then I'm so busy with other people's doggies. I really didn't hear the time to hear a dog for me. And I think as years are going on, I wouldn't hear them now. I think we're getting too old for it. <laughs> I like them just to feel quite free, because I wouldn't like to be tied to get my hair done. And I wouldn't, and neither would anybody else. So. They just begin to know to sit still and I just clap them and speak to them and I never shout at them. And the dog responds to that. When I arrive quite often at people's homes, they'll come to greet me, but they'll disappear while I'm setting up my things. They go, uh oh, she's here to do something. <laughs> and they disappear upstairs. But uh, they come to me after a while, and once they're on the table, they're mine. And they'll always do what I ask. Always. Even the biters eventually do what I ask. Eventually. Not right away. Oh my! You've been up for loving? You're coming up for a minute? Come on then. Come on then. No licking. Good boy. No licking just now. There you go. You'd never stop, would you? Hey? This doggie's always been right good. Always comes to me, but he'll never come into the kitchen where I clip him. Ever. <laughs> it's so funny, because Lord always says, he's not coming off the couch, he makes on his sleeping. <laughs> Don't you? Hey? You go sound though. We've had three family dogs in our history, um, one being a poodle, one being a cockapoo, and the other a King Charles Spaniel. Um, Lorna's cut all three of our dogs, um, and they love going through to see her. She's, she loves them, is constantly asking them for kisses and things, and um, she treats them like one of her own. She's reliable, friendly, we always get a good cut with the dogs. Our dogs are quite content to go through and visit. Lorna for a little haircut. They're cut about every six to eight weeks and um, I quite simply wouldn't go anywhere else. I always want to please you, doing their lick now and everything to make sure they not get their tongue snipped. And I'm working with scissors, I scissor a lot. I prefer scissoring actually to clippering. It's a much nicer finish really than that. I don't think they get taught the same to scissor nowadays. I think they get to work more clippering, but I really enjoy my work.
Oh, that was really good. Am I getting the kisses? Mwah.